Hello and welcome to a short little video uh, which shows you how to get the manual pages for git subcommands because it can be a little bit tricky depending on what platform you're on. If you're on a nice platform like you know a modern Linux distribution and you run man git status it's just going to do the right thing for you so it's going to open up the git status man page for you which is great. Um, Note that when I ran man git status, it actually gave us a little bit of a hint that we'll use later, and it actually opened up the git dash status man page. Uh, and this is because git commands are generally, well, some of them are built in, so like git status is not one of them, um, but you can see there's a, a bunch of others. Well, these are mine over here, but um, actually, I'm surprised we don't, I'm surprised we don't see more of them. Oh, they must be in libexec. Uh, but yeah, the, behind the scenes, Git has a bunch of executables that are, you know, with a dash in them, and that's that's how Git implements subcommands, and that's how you can actually implement your own subcommands. So if I do, you know, Git GitHub URL, it's going to error here because of course I'm not in a Git repository, um, but that ran my special um, helper script that I wrote here. But anyway, that's not the point of today. The point of today is man git status doesn't work on some other popular platforms such as Mac OS. If I SSH into, I have a build machine that I use to, you know, build binaries on macOS. So I, I don't boot it up very often, but it's a crappy old Mac mini that, I don't know, it does its job. Um, but if I were to run that same command here, man get status, uh, you'll see that it helpfully opens up the git man page, uh, but it doesn't, you know, have the particular command that I want. There is, of course, the hints down here as to where to get to the rest of them. If I quit out of the git man page, you'll see that it tried to run man status, which is totally not what we wanted. Uh, we wanted git status. Uh, but fortunately, what you can do is do man git dash status, and then that'll take you to your subcommands manual page. You can also do man, or you can also do git status dash dash help. So like that'll also open up the same manual page. Um, but some sometimes. I don't know, sometimes it's hardwired to use man to figure this out. But anyway, short little video. Hopefully this was useful. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.